Uh, welcome to uh, JPC's triple window arch videos. Triple window. I JPC wanted to put together a window like this, and he was having problems figuring it out. And so, actually, all this is is uh, three windows, three fixed glass windows that are blocked together. Three windows blocked together, right? And you 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 block them together, and then you hit the uh, uh, change it to an arch. And you have a round top arch, I guess, you know, 12, uh, 24. Was that, is that, yeah, you get the, uh, that's a broken arch. I don't want with the round top. I can't have a round top. I've been through this before. I, it, it's whatever it is, okay? Flat Tudor arch, you know, you can do this. But here, this is really the key of this whole video. And it's, it, it, instead of blocking it together, how do you do that? Instead of blocking it together, how do you do that? And, and, and because maybe you don't want the casing in between it, right? Well, here's the situation right here. And this is, I'm not going to get into this. I, 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 I was playing golf all day yesterday. And the last four days, as a matter of fact, God, it was heaven on earth. Let me tell you, I swear. But bottom line is, this is, uh, you know, JPC might want to do some kind of a, uh, uh, an arch like, Oh come on, guys! I'm I, I really I I I I can't do this. I mean, I can, but I can't talk a lot today. So th this is really, you know, suppose our, JPC wants to create an arch like this. Okay, and that's the shape. That's the shape of his arch. I just made that up. Okay, and how does he do that? Now, th here's a key. Here's the key. There are two different windows window types you're going to use for this. I'm going to say that again. Two different type windows you're going to two different type arch windows you're going to use for this. The center window is going to be a broken arch window. Now you understand with a broken hey hey you you're going to know how you're going to know how wide this is, right? You're going to know how tall this is, right? You, 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 I'm just you'd have to know that to make this thing work. But here's the key. What is what is what should the height of the arch be? What should the height of the arch be for this window here? Well, you just do a couple CAD lines. Uh, you see this arch? See that? See this? See that? That's the arch I'm trying to match. You get, you get, you're gonna get the idea here, okay? And so I know this arch, the broken arch has to be five and five eighths. Uh, control C, select this window U, go to the arch V. Okay, I mean I'm not perfect. I, I didn't I didn't get it perfect because I didn't I, I was lazy. Okay, I got a hangover. I got a hangover, man. So, but but that, and that's the broken arch, and and so you can control the height of this broken arch, right? So you can get this shape. Now the key, now here's the here's the other key. So you're using a broken arch in the center, and you have the window on the side. What kind of arch an arch do you use for that? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. And so right now I I'm gonna find out what the height is. Uh, Oh, God, I, I I could stretch this out forever. Or I could make it simple and quick. <sighs> Use your CAD lines, okay? Uh, five and bump. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. And now you come over here and you go, well, anyway, you know what the width of this window is, right? But what you don't know, and I know what the height, the height is going to, what's this height here? U, uh, 66. So I know this height has to be 66, right? Uh, U, 66. Oh, well, I, I want it to be at the same level as this, I guess, huh? Oh, no, it's not 66. It's not 66 in nitwit. This has to be height. Using your CAD lines, I know what the height is. It's 5 foot 1. You, 5 foot 1, which is 61 inches, right? Why is it, why is it, uh, isn't that weird? The sill's going up and it's not going down the other way. Anyway, this is the key to making this thing work. This is the key right here. What kind of an arch? What kind of an arch window is this? I told you this was a broken arch. What kind is this? This kind of window. Here's here's the magic. It's a double arch. I guess it's a, a double arch. And why is it a double arch? Because here, uh, I I can control the height of this. Watch this. Forty. I think that the height is going to control. Yes. See, it, 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 the 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 top stayed, but the bottom. Uh, Shapi, this, that's the height I wanted. I, I, because I'm, I'm, I'm working with my arch, okay? Three and eight, control C. 
delete u height no oh it's the arch height i'm talking about the arch height these are the variables you're going to be working with the radius and the arch height v now watch this see see now it's now it's almost going i don't know if you can see my arch but it's it's matching in my arch and now what i have to do is i just select this arch right here this curve this curved line open open and selected arc the radius is this control c cancel now you come back to your window u go back to arch I've already set the height, but now I'm going to change the radius, V, 152, there. And believe me, it's, it's right on my, yeah, look, I'm, I, it's not, I did, it, it's pretty dang close, man. It's pretty dang close. So when you want to do a window like JPC, said he wanted to do, uh, that, that's what you have to do. You, you use a broken arch in the center. And these over here on the two sides are called the uh, double arch. Because with the double arch, you can control the height, which is from here. You can control, you can control the height, from, which is from here to here. From here to here. That's the height of the arch. That's the height of the arch. And then you can control the radius. And, and, and watch this. I mean, if I really flatten this radius out, 150. See, it, it's not meaning right there at a 90 degree angle. You're forming it yourself. You're deciding what it is, and then you can go to the right arch, of course, right arch, the left arch. Uh, that's, that's some, that's something else I forgot to say. It, it, it's only a left arch. So, so it's a double arch. Okay, let's let's go through this because I'm going to remind myself. You can't control the radius with a dog ear arch. Octagonal arch, you can't even control the uh, height or anything. Okay. I don't know. What, I don't know. What, I don't know what you're controlling, but you, you go through it. You'll figure it out. Trifoil arch. You can control the height. Uh, Twenty-four. Uh, whatever you figure it out. Uh, double arch. That's the double arch. That the double arch gives you the radius. The double arch gives you the radius. Okay. Tudor. Oh, with the tutor you can have an arch too. Uh, full arch. Left arch. Uh, radius is 60. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I, I can't. Uh, how about 12? Yeah, I guess it works something like that. You'll figure that out. Uh, you can flat top arch, you know, elliptical arch, elliptical arch. You can't control radius on elliptical. Gothic, no, can't control radius. Broken, can't control radius. Round top, can't control radius. No arch, whatever. So the real key is this double arch. You got the radius. The double arch controls the radius. I'm done. Sorry, guys. This is thanks, JP. This was a this was a good good reminder. Done.